Kanina ba na kikinig ako sa... Sit down. Sorry. Uh, meron naman ng isang patay na IED. May remember I bought two pieces of uh, IED. Yung suit para mag ano, in Davao. Uh, many years ago, but still uh, serviceable. Sabi ko kay uh, Chief PNP na tawagan yung ano, tawagan yung Davao. Pati yung polis, yung, sila, sila yung sana eh. Oh, yun na lang kasi kaawa. Sila lang muna. Sila na yung sana eh. Di doon sa Dabao ko noon, I ordered them to practice uh, uh, getting used to it, wearing it, and para mas madali. Ipadala na lang. Yung polis na mismo yung ano. Just ordered them to go there para maybe we can save more lives uh, before uh, it gets to be on the final <clears throat> and the Secretary Catalino Coy is my Chief of Police Mahusay to Police Director General Ronald De La Rosa Chief of Police ko rin Mahusay ito A newly promoted Star Rank Officers of the Philippine National Police Mahusay kayong lahat Mga kasamahan ko sa gobyerno Mahusay rin tayong lahat, mga minamahal kong kababayan. Uh, I, as usual, I have two pages uh, for every event, but let me just pour out my sentiments uh, bago itong, baka magalit itong nag-prepare nag nito, hindi mo basahin. Uh, Nakakahiya naman. <coughs> uh, I am looking for money, and uh, I want the Philippine National Police to, as soon as possible, uh, recruit and organize about five to seven battalions of uh, SAP trained. Alam mo, sabi nga nila noon, marami tayong sundalo. Totoo yan. In times of peace, Wala tayong problema. Kung walang gulo, no deployment, no nothing, and there's a big space for everybody to move. No yun. But uh, with the coming of the ISIS, drugs uh, coming in from anywhere and everywhere, pati itong uh, terrorism, criminality, Hirap tayo ngayon. So, it is not really a matter of numbers, but the number of events that we have to counter uh, to save the Republic. Kulang tayo ngayon, and uh, I've been quarreling with everybody in the cabinet na kunan ko yung ano nila muna in the meantime, kaltasan ko because I have to of the money. Uh, kailangan 20,000 army troops and uh, mga seven battalions of SAF. I do not think that the siege in Arami would be the beginning and the end. Uh, it has begun in Sulu many years ago. Uh, in the number of times that we were humiliated as a country, we cannot even protect our own much more with the uh, number of uh, tourists to disregard warnings and go there. And that Moloka Strait there, the great expanse is the Sulu Sea, then it gets to be constricted because you have to buy the Moloka Strait. That has become a very serious problem for everybody. And we do do and I, uh, I have yet to hear from Najib, he, he wants us, the three of us, to meet somewhere 
to talk about uh, this uh, new phenomenon of uh, international terrorism. Parang we are back into the stages of uh, the old world. Parang mga pirata, uh, of which they are really are. Karastik, if you have to characterize uh, their, uh, they kill and uh, they just want to destroy. And even with the uh, Navy, we have to prop up uh, a lot of uh, things. I do not need at this time the large, uh, the gray ships. All I need are the fast boats to pursue the pirates and terrorists. Yan lang naman sila. Nabigla lang tayo dito sa Makati. But, you know, there's a reason for that. Uh, they can only do it in places where they are the dominant population. They cannot do it anywhere. Uh, this is not to alarm anybody, but uh, uh, kung nasaan yan silang marami, could be Davao, uh, which has a large population of uh, Moro. Hindi naman lahat. But itong kalaban talaga natin, itong mga extremist na Moro, must join the ISIS. Sambuanga could be a very tempting target. And even Manila. But... Uh, well, I, I don't know if they will survive for another day of fighting. So we have to improve on our assets. Madagdagan ko lang ng 12 yung Air Force natin, make it 24 uh, in numbers. It would be a credible Air Force, A-50. But I need the fast boats and uh, the powerful uh, precision guided missiles. Uh, that's what I've been trying to get. Uh, I don't know if uh, Russia self is coming. Sinabi nila, ibibigay na Manila. Papasalamat rin tayo. And sa mga Chinese. And of course, America. Uh, given yan eh, all these years and tulong natin. Ang problema lang dito is uh, itong droga has to be addressed. Uh, has to be addressed by the police. Matindi to. I. It is true that I promised you that I'll uh, wipe out drugs in three to six months. Ang problema nga to yung template ko as Davao. Um, pagdating ko dito sa Manila, sad to say, uh, mga police generals were into it. The favored ones, yung mga spoiled, uh, ayaw ko na lang magsira ng isang tao, but uh, he allowed uh, corruption and everything uh, to flourish. And that is why we had to do something very serious. It was really serious. Alam ninyo yan, police kayo. So, but this time, I never expected also that drugs would come in dito sa poet ko sa customs and uh, dito sa Mindanao I've been warning it uh, about it uh, almost daily narinig ninyo ako before the siege sa Marawi nako please do not force me to do something sa Mindanao Inulit ko yon, sinasabi ko na I do not want to declare martial law, but if you force my hand into it, I will really do it. Uh, it has come to pass. Ngayon na nga, ito na yung problema natin. So we have to stay alert, vigilant, increase our numbers, and maybe uh, given the equal uh, war now, Medyo kulang tayo sa armas. The, 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 the weapons that really matter most in a rebellion or a criminal uh, syndicate as serious as in Mindanao. We need them, but uh, we still have to have them. Kaya naman yung kailangan yung mga tanki-tanki because, uh, well, breaching purposes, but we have enough of that. It's just a rebellion. Uh, it's fundamentally a... Itao por tao yan. 
and we have this problem also of uh, Sulu looming big in the horizon. If you remember, ladies and gentlemen, nung unang human conference ko as president, we were talking almost about anything under the sun, but nobody was talking about Mindanao. And that was also the reason why I was forced to run. Ang nakita na ninyo ngayon is because nobody was talking about Mindanao. Na kung walang gagawin, mahuhulog talaga sa you know, a breakdown and maybe lose it. Uh, dismembered ang Republic of the Philippines. Kaya ako noon, sige na ako, but nobody, but nobody. And you were around. Huwag na lang tayo magbulahan. Sila lahat yun. They never mentioned about the seriousness, gravity of uh, the situation in Mindanao. Ako na nakikita ako na kasi taga Mindanao ako. Uh, part of the reason why I said I decided to run was because uh, kung ganito, they will tend to not really abandon but just put it aside as a nagging problem, like a sore thumb that sticks out every day. Sabi ko, kawawa ang kaming mga taga Mindanao. But buti na anticipate namin, and of course, uh, itong si Undersecretary Goy, pati si Chief PNP, alam nila yan, doon yan sila eh. Uh, lahat naman dumaan sa alam nila ang equation. So, nene, hindi, sabihin na hindi ko kayo kilala. I know you by name, but ito yan silang nagtrabaho sa Dabao and became my chiefs of police in succession. So, Morente, si Sid La Peña, way, way much ahead of them. They're all from Davao, uh, but they are not they are really, except for Bato, but the rest are not from Davao, actually. They were just passing by as a tour of duty nila. At doon ko yan sila nakilala. Hindi ko naman kayo kilala. Kilala ko kayo na guwapo. Pero kung yung personal rapport, yung address you as Bato, gano'n nga. Eh, hindi ko kayo kilala. Kung kilala ko kayo noon, di, ginawa ko kayo chief of police lahat sa Dabao. Taglima-lima. Well, anyway, that is the, the problem. Corruption. I will have something to say sa command conference. When is it? Now? Oh, yeah. Tignan mo kung... Uh, hindi naman ako bright boy, but I'll tell you the reason why. Did, you, did it occur to you? Did it occur to you na karamihang raids may CCTV? Hindi atin. Hindi sa barangay. Sa bahay. There was this incident nakita ko that uh, he was lying in a cot um, late na bed. But the CCTV was right uh, staring in front of his, uh, that would give you an idea. Well, bakit may mga CCTV to? I'll tell you the secret, Maya. Sila walang kasali kay mga misis man yan sila. Um, basahin ko na lang yung sa ano ha. When I came to office, I made a promise to the Filipino people that I will do my best to minimize, if not end, the many problems hounding the nation. Of all these, illegal drugs and criminality remain among the most difficult challenges that we have to overcome. The problem, it appears, is the lack of political will to combat these ills from our country's leaders. Many politicians are either cowed or are protectors of drug lords and criminals. Some are even drug lords and criminals, so deny they have the urgency 
nor possess the resolve to deal with the many evils affecting our society today. Mabilo uh, has sent word that he wants to talk to me. And uh, I have some lifestyle check on him. Uh, his house is like a palace in sabi ko, anak siguro talaga ito ng mayamang mayaman. Yung bahay niya talagang pinaano, pinasilip ko sa mga NBI, pati BIR. Actually, palas. So, kaya, it is for this reason that I look to the PNP to provide leadership preserve peace and order and uphold the rule of law. It is your duty to ensure that our countrymen are protected from the various elements that prey on our citizenry. You are the protectors of our people and they look to you for respite, succor, and safety. <clears throat> Despite the headway we already made against illegal drugs and criminality, our country is not yet safe from harm and danger. So remain vigilant, stay alert, and be ready. Diyan tayo bayad eh. Bayad tayo magtrabaho at kung maaari, bayad tayo ang mamatay. For the country. Most of all, sustain our efforts against illegal drugs and crime. Do not be afraid as long as you do your duties. I repeat, wag kayong matakot yung mga human rights, mga demanda-demanda. Gawin mo lang ang tamang trabaho mo. Follow the rules of engagement. Follow the rules of performance of duty and follow the rules of self-defense, and I will go to prison for you. But make no mistake, this government same, will never tolerate any abuse of power, corruption, and illegal activities in the PNP and the entire bureaucracy. Alam ko naman, kukunti lang itong skalawags talaga. These are the guys that joined the PNP hoping something. Money, comfort, luxury. Yan. Mga mga taga Maynila na polis taga Luzon, ganun. Pag nandiyan na, gusto ka agad ng land cruiser. Hindi makontento noon. You know, nickel plated lang dyan sa Cavite. Yan ang mga ano nila. Ngayon, they are not contented with it because... Uh, if you really crave for something which you cannot afford by any measure sa pagod mo sa trabaho, then that is where corruption starts. Basta you, you hunger for the things that you cannot afford. The dive ka talaga dyan. To the newly appointed and promoted officials, I ask you to lead the men and women of the PNP as together you fulfill this task. Guide them to become the exemplary and effective police officers that our country needs at this important juncture of our history. Di ba sinabi ko naman sa iyo, paulit-ulit pa ba yan, na kung may problema kayo na malaki, kung pera, hindi pera ng gobyerno, marami akong kaibigan. Marami akong kaibigan kasi ako yung hindi humihingi. At alam nila, pag umi ako, hindi para sa akin. And you know, the reason uh, why you see a lot of the big business uh, helping us with uh, uh, mga halfway house, mga rehab center, these are the guys na hindi ko tinanggap yung pera. Uh, for one reason or another, uh, para gusto makabawi, yan, uh, donate sila ng ano, donate ng... Uh, and uh, some uh, gave huge sum of money. The last time that I met with the Chinese community here, businessmen, 
Uh, but he is really a good person. Pero sabihin ko sa hindi ko tinanggap ang pera niya. He offered to provide one million for every dead soldier. Kaya ako nagpapasalamat. Sabi ko na, kung nalaman ko lang pala na ganun karak, marami ang pera mo, tinanggap ko na lang, dublado sana yun. Nung bigay ka sa, patay ka sa buhay, di, bigyan mo na akong patay, bigyan mo ang buhay. Today we have a great opportunity to finally rid of our nation of its many problems and usher in real, lasting, and meaningful change. Hindi nakuha nitong mga Ayan ko, anong kulay na nila? Technicolor na yan sila. That, yeah, no, no, I will, we, you will compromise the next generation. Itong mga high school ngayon, college, pag hindi natin nahinto yung druga, nasabi nila, tingnan mo, kaya ko, kaya ko, bino, Minumura yan sila, naming names, idiots, bullshit. Why they keep on hunkering on my statement that if you destroy my country, I will kill you. That is a very legitimate statement of a leader of a nation. And when I say that I will kill you if you destroy the young of this country, nobody can argue with that statement Baski sa harap ng ni Jesus Kristo. Ano bang masama niya sabihin mo, papatayin kita pag sinira mo ang bayan ko? If you destroy the next generation, na hindi naman tayo mayaman. Wala naman tayong propidad. They have always checked. Nung eleksyon, sinabi, 211 trillionis na bugok. Sabi ko, sige, hanapin ninyo. Ngayong presidente na ako, sinabi ko, you have now the authority, I, as president, I'm ordering you to kalkalin mo yung rural bank of Kidapawan. Baka doon nakadeposito. Ay, mga ganon na style. Ba't tayo trabaho lang? Alam mo sa kanila, they are incapable of absorbing that idea na may mga tao na iba sa kanila. Na may mga tao na ang prinsipyo nilalagay sa pwesto. Hindi yung kanila na revolt revolt na mutiny. Pagdating naman ng polis, sinampal pa ni Barrias itong si Trillanes, wala namang nagawa, nagsurrender. Tapos sabihin mo matapang ka, Jesus, Mario Sef. Trillanes, mahiya ka naman sarili mo. Hindi ka nga kinapatulan. You know why si Paildon pati yung anak ko kilala? Well, I'll tell you, pa- Paildon is still alive with some of the generals. Three years ago, si Paildon pumupunta na ng Dabao. Alam nila ba ito yan? They were urging me to run. Bakit hindi makilala si Paildon when Paildon was present every meeting sa kampanya ko. Kaya kilala yan si Paldo sa pamilya o kilala yan ng asa o kilala ng lahat yan. Kilala ng buong Dabao yan. Pabalik-balik yan doon. No, I don't know. That's it for Paldo na may saan to tell. Kung nandoon siya. Ngayon ang anak ko, hindi siya nagpunta. Ito naman si Mans. Itong bala, yung, yung bala ko, kapatid ni Conchita Morales sa Ombudsman. Okay? Nung mighty king, hindi yung, yung ano na yan, hindi yung sebo-sebola yan. Katakot na lang niyang maghawak baski isang kutsara. Ang mighty king, sila taga ang abogado. Lawyering is never and would never be a wrong. Kaming mga abogado, kita mo sila oiso noon, dong pepe, kita mo abong abogado nila. May nasabi ka ba? Ito trabaho, it's lawyering. Kaya totoo yan. Kaya hindi ko na pinansin yan. Kasi sabi niya, pa, abogado kami di may ko. Kasi alam ko hindi sila lulusot kay Sunny Dominguez. Pati kay Pail doon. 
Tapi kau pasti lu ya ring angkat jalan kau yo. But never never ask me to do anything for you. Alam nila yan. Yan ang ang, ang ano talaga yan, yung mighty. Oh. May nagawa pa sila. Di from 3 billion nag, naging 45 billion tuloy. Oh. Saan ko man kunin yung 20 billion ko na seed money ko para sa trust fund ng P, 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 uh, uh, AAP, PNP. Diyan. Sinabi ko sa congressman, sinabi ko kay Sani, i-reserve mo yung 20. Because I promised you na by the time I go out of the office, maging 50 billion yan. Ang trust fund yan, ang interest lang or the premium or whatever, hindi na ninyo maubos. Yan lang sabi ko, just four years, free education naman ngayon. Ngayon, may mga, mga bata, uh, hindi mo sabi, may mga anak kayo na valediktorian, ganun, and they want to pursue higher studies. Mahal kasi yung ano, so, punta ng Lasal, Ateneo. So, may panahon sila. And you can always borrow from the trust fund. Yan, Para lang talaga sa edukasyon ng mga anak ninyo. Period. Nothing else. Total, meron naman kayong mga pension pension sana. This one is to assure that uh, he would get a good education para he has a fighting chance in life to do good. Matikman nila ang hindi ninyo natikman. Alam ko yan. Matikman nila ang hindi ko rin na at saka tayo mahirap lang. Pagkatanda ninyo, pag-retire mo, ang susubo sa lugaw ninyo, ang anak ninyo. Ang bibili ng antibiotic ninyo, pati yung sa pneumonia ninyo. Ang magbayad ng punerarya, ang anak ninyo. Kaya ako, sensitive ako dyan, sinasabi ko, huwag mong sirain ang Pilipino. Itong mga gago na itong mga palimbasa mayaman na yung mga ulol, hindi nila naintindihan niya na it's really a fight for life. Itong laban na ito, it's a matter of life and death sa atin. Kasi kung walang pinag-aral, puro bungog yung anak ninyo, or may anak, once there is a pamilya, alam ninyo yan, Sa pamilya, pag may isa dyan, dalawa tinamaan ng droga, that family becomes dysfunctional. Sira na ang buhay mo. Kaya mga, mga kaibigan ninyo, pati mga anak ng pulis tinamaan. Kaya mo ano nangyari? Dysfunctional na ang pamilya. So ngayon, mapoproblema ka pa, mamatay ka, Sino mag-alaga na itong isa nito na tinamaan? Eh, gunggong na eh. Wala nang isip. Hindi nila naintindihan yan eh. Kaya itong mga Europeans, kaya ko talagang minumura. Kasi you pretend to be, sabihin pa, oh, last na itong kay Kian ha. Pag mayroon pa mga... Who are you to say that? Binurisit mo. Pumunta ka dito. Ayaw naman makipag-debate eh. Kasi kung makipag-debate yan, ah, in five questions, gawain kong tanga yung buang na yan. Hindi mo kasi sabi, ah, pinatay ko rin 10,000. Who was my 10,000 victim? 10,000 man kaya. O yung pa naka 9,999, saan namatay? Sino? Paano namatay? They think that it is easy. You know, sa police, even sa grupo, yung raid raid, magkamali yung isang tao dyan. It does not mean to say the whole of the team gets uh, to be punished. Because criminal liability is personal. Unless there is a conspiracy. Na itong gawain natin, ha? wala tayong bubuhayin yan. Tama yan. Pag ang kalaban talaga dapat patayin. Pero kung magsabi mo isang inkwento, isang inkwento doon, tapos nagkamali yung isa, 
guilt is personal. Kanya lang yung huwag ipahe doon sa iba. Unless the, yung pinag-usapan natin na yun ang gagawin natin. Eh, kulang itong lalo na itong hindi mga abogado, sus Mario Josep, magsalita. So, ano ba ang last page nito? Despite the headway already made illegal, illegal drugs and criminal country is not yet safe from harm and danger. So remain vigilant and said, but mid them. Tapos naman pala ito. Matanda na talaga ang presis. Nabi ko sa inyo si Bintito na ako. So, uh, my warmest felicitations. Congratulations. I'm happy for you. I join uh, the family in the event today that you finally reached the star rank. Huwag sana sayangan ninyo. Sabi ko naman sa inyo, Adre, no, sabi ko sa iyo, pag may problema kayo at mabigat, punta mo na kayo sa akin. Huwag kayo maghingi dyan sa mga negosyan. Ako ang maghanap. Ano? Could be cancer sa pamilya. O paalisin ka na sa bahay. Uh, nandiyan na yung sirip. Mandali, alam mo, remedyo dyan. Tawagin mo si Inday. Diba? Bugbog. <laughs> Bugbogin na yung Inday. Mawala na yung sirip na yan. Kung paalasin ka na sa... Just, just tell me. Just be frank with me. Tell me the truth. Ano yung mga bato o tao? Ba, bata man yung mga bato. Ako, bata ninyo ako. We served uh, all together. Ako, karami ninyo ako mag-isa. Ako yung bata ninyo. Just tell me, sinabi ko sa inyo, we can almost have an extremist. Kailangan talaga na palisin ng bahay o anong, whatever. Sabi mo lang sa akin, maghanap tayo naman. Hindi ako magdadalong isip maghingi ng tulong sa mga kaibigan ko. Lalo na yung sabi ko na hindi, hindi ko tinanggap yung pera nila. Karami yan. It's because uh, ayaw ko yung magkautang ako ng loob kasi alam ko, mahirap. I've been uh, a politician, a mayor for 23 years. Kasi ba ito pagdating yan, second lieutenant lang, first lieutenant, kinasal. Ako yung nino. <laughs> oh, ako yung nino niyan. Si ko yung pangatlong asawa niya. <laughs> si Binyag. Yeah. Hindi, siguro, hindi naman umabot siguro pangatlo yung talino. So, sa binyag, hindi sa kasal. Nung anak ko yung pangatlo. <laughs> Nandiyan ba si Mimi? Alam mo, Mimi, kailala kong ano, ano niyan. Kaya kaibigan namin, kaibigan namin dalawa. So, Yun lang siguro, and uh, uh, we will have, uh, I'll tender uh, maybe uh, a dinner with you next week. Uh, let me just go back to Mindanao because we have a problem there to solve. Uh, we are in the final stages of, padala mo na kaagad yung, ano, pa-earlip mo na yung mga polis. Tangin ng mga polis na, sila mismo ha, yung nag-practice. Ayaw ko yung mag-practice pa doon, madidisgrace siya lang. Because they are required to do it almost three times a week, sabi ko, para sanay. Ah, dyan, maubos ang mauti ng explosive nila. Hindi matumba ang punis dyan. Talagang mabigat. Both that at for, uh, almost uh, one million ba yan? Oh, one million plus each. Pero it can really withstand the... It can do the work it is intended for. So maraming salamat.